Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install a GFCI downstream from a GFCI. So first thing, turn off your power to your breaker. Um, and so basically that's the GFCI in the bathroom. This one is in my garage. So again, verifying we have no power so we don't get electrocuted. Take off your faceplate here. And then go ahead and take out the old outlet. So another reason why I want to change this old one out um, is also because it's the way it's backstabbed is not particularly safe these days. So I wanted to change it out for that reason as well and to have a button in the garage. So to get these old backstab ones out, all you do is you take a flathead screwdriver and there's a little slot under the wire. So if you push it, then the wire should release and come out if you pull it. So go ahead and take your white neutral out, take your black hot out the same way. And then you wanna unscrew your ground from uh, the terminal there with the shepherd's hook. Then go ahead and get your new GFCI, and because we are providing power to the GFCI, you want to put it on the line. Uh, this one, don't do the load, the one under the yellow. That's for other purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and backstab this one. If you see under the screw there, there's a couple of slots you can put it in on each side, the neutral and the hot. So you can use a screw that way and backstab it. This is like a better way because it's a little more secure because there is a plate uh, that you screw down and it basically bites the uh, wire so it doesn't come out. Or if you want to go old school, you can make the shepherd's hook and screw it under the screw that way if you want to do that. Either way is fine. So I put in the white neutral on the silver side, the other side, and this is the black hot under the brass screw. Screw those in, make sure those are tight. And then you want to do the finger test. So once you've tightened it, go ahead and pull the wires, make sure they don't come out. And then what we want to do is go ahead and put the ground on the under the green screw, usually on the bottom uh, with your shepherd's hook. Go ahead and screw that down as well and do the finger test to make sure that doesn't come out as well. Once we've done that, then you can go ahead and put the breaker back in. Uh, screw it back into the box uh, and just just make sure it's snug for now. So what we want to do after this is we want to test it. So these GSEIs come in a tripped state from the factory. So we need to basically reset it to make sure it's working. And they do this to make sure that it's uh, wired incorrectly and you don't hurt yourself. So plug something into it, turn it on. So in this case, it's my surge protector. I have the surge protector turned on, then turn your breaker back on. Push the test button, it should be solid, and then push the reset button all the way in, and it should pop, and you should get power. So as you can see, you can see the green light under the outlet, and my surge protector is now on, so we know we have power. Once that happens, go ahead and turn your breaker off, and then put your cover plate on, and that's it, you're done. And then just don't forget to turn your breaker back on so you have power, and you'll see it because you'll obviously see the green light turn back on, and that's it, you're done. So I hope this video helped you.